Some smart tariffs track the wholesale price of electricity, with prices changing every 30 minutes of the day. It sounds a little scary, but sometimes the price of electricity drops to zero or even goes negative, meaning you're getting paid for using electricity. In this video, the final part of my series Winning with Smart Tariffs, I'll be showing you effective strategies for these tariffs. Hi, I'm Gary and welcome back to my channel Gary Does Solar. This is the final part of a four part series on winning with smart tariffs, where with the right strategies you can save a lot of money and potentially even make money as well, all while helping out the environment at the same time. Part one of the series provided a good introduction to smart tariffs and this is worth watching if you're not familiar with them. Then in part two we looked at what I call template tariffs like octopus flux where there are standard, peak and off-peak rates for import and export throughout the day. Part 3 of the series looked at how these tariffs operate slightly differently in the southern hemisphere, like Australia. And finally, in this video, part 4, we'll be looking at wholesale tracker tariffs, where the price per kilowatt hour varies every 30 minutes, tracking the actual wholesale price of electricity. Let's have a look at an example of one of these types of tariffs. This one is a tariff available in the UK from the energy provider Octopus Energy and it's called Agile Octopus. And as you can see, the price really does vary every 30 minutes. These were the prices for Wednesday of last week. The red region indicates prices higher than you'd pay if you were on the standard tariff where the price per kilowatt hour is fixed. And the green region indicates prices going lower than zero. Which is a weird situation because it means rather than you paying for electricity, you're getting paid to use it. Generally, the price is cheaper overnight and with this particular tariff, the price between 4pm and 7pm in the evening is deliberately made more expensive to encourage shifting of usage away from those times. And prices do change every day. Here's the next day, Thursday. Now you might be thinking, there's a pattern here. All I need to do is set the battery to charge anywhere between say midnight and 5am. But it's not that simple. Here's the next day, Friday. On this day there were actually two dips. So if it took 4 hours to fill your battery, you could fill it to 50% between 2.30am and 4.30am and then another 50% between 2 and 4pm. But actually a better strategy for that day might be to completely fill the battery across 4 hours between 1.30am and 5.30am. Then force discharge the battery at the best possible time before noon. Then charge the battery again to 100% between 12 noon and 4pm. That way you've earned a bit of money from export and you're helping the grid at the same time. And with Agile Octopus you can choose between two export tariffs. A fixed export tariff so that it doesn't matter when you discharge or a variable export tariff where the rates change every 30 minutes just like the import rates. So if you choose the second option you'll need to work out the best discharge time. Ok let's look at the next day then, Saturday. And here's a prime example where energy costs were zero for most of the day and in fact negative between 10.30am and 3.30pm. So you don't need to charge your battery overnight in readiness to satisfy home demand because the home can simply draw from the grid directly at that time. It feels like you're best to charge during the 4 hour period where prices are negative so you're getting paid to charge your battery. But even better, you could charge your battery for say 3 hours from 3.30am to 6.30am. That will take it to 75% capacity. Then you could discharge it from say 7am to 10am, gaining export revenue. And then finally charging it again, this time to 100% from 11am to 3.30pm. So with every day a different charging strategy is required. With Agile Octopus the next day's prices are available from 4pm. But do you really want to be spending your time working out the best strategy and then manually programming your battery accordingly? I don't think so. The good news though is there is software out there that can figure out the best strategy each day and automatically set up your battery to execute on that strategy. You can then sit back and enjoy the savings or even money paid to you all in the knowledge that these actions are helping your system help the environment. Before we look at the software options open to you then, if you want to find out more about this example tariff 
I made this video here and it will tell you everything you need to know. And if you live in the UK and you're not already with Octopus Energy, I highly recommend you switching over to them. The process is quick and painless. Octopus Energy is the only energy provider rated five stars by which customers. I've been with them myself for a couple of years now and I'm very impressed with the service. They're well ahead of the competition with innovative smart tariffs like Agile that allow you to get the best from your solar and battery installation, both environmentally and financially. And if that wasn't enough, if you switch to Octopus using my referral code here, you'll get £50 credited to your account. I'll also get £50, which I'll use to grow the channel. Thank you. So what software options are open to you then for automatically managing the charging and discharging schedules for your battery? I see four approaches. The first is local control via a self-built solution. Next is local control by the inverter or battery manufacturer. Third is having your battery remotely controlled by your energy provider. And finally, having your battery remote controlled by a third party service. Let's look at the first approach then, local control via a self-built solution. This involves you setting up a computing device in your home that can interface with your battery and control it. The most popular type of control software is called Home Assistant. And I recently interviewed Speak to the Geek who told me all about it in this video here. Home Assistant provides the basis for local control, but then you need to add on top of that specific control logic itself to manage the wholesale time of use tariffs like Agile Octopus. One solution I'm aware of is called Predbat, developed by Trevor Southwell. It's very powerful and supports a whole range of inverters and batteries. I don't have any experience of Predbat myself, but Trevor has created a series of videos explaining how to get it up and running here. And if you're already using Home Assistant and Predbat, I'd love if you could share your experiences in the comments. Next up then is local control by your inverter or battery manufacturer. Now this seems like an obvious service for the manufacturers to be providing, but I'm not seeing much activity in the marketplace so far. So if you know of any manufacturers that are doing this for wholesale tracker tariffs, please can you let me know in the comments so that others can be informed. A third approach is having your battery remotely controlled by your energy provider. Again, this seems like an obvious service for the energy providers to be offering, as they're providing the actual tariff. I know Octopus Energy, for example, has such a capability in the form of Octopus Labs, but at present I think only Give Energy batteries are supported. Finally then, having your battery remotely controlled by a third party service. In the UK I know of two services, My Energy Optimizer and Wonderwatt. Now I don't have any experience of Wonderwatt, but I have a lot of experience with My Energy Optimizer, as I've been using it for over four months now. It just takes care of everything, identifying and executing the best charging and discharging strategy every day without me having to do anything. Now giving away control of your system to a third party provider is not something to be done lightly. And I made a video here looking into this in a lot of detail if you're interested. But I have to say, after keeping my eye on how my energy optimizer was controlling my system over the first few weeks, it automatically sends out an email letting me know what it's planning and how it turned out. I actually find I don't need to check up on it anymore. You can hear all about My Energy Optimizer in this video I did with its creator, Richard Pierce. And even though I made this video with him, I don't have any affiliation with the service, and I've got no hesitation recommending it. It's very good at what it does. And if anyone has any experience of the other service, wonder what, please let me know in the comments. Okay, we've come to the end of the series on effective strategies for smart tariffs. I hope you found the videos useful. And if so, please don't forget to like this video so that YouTube will promote it more widely. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon.